up you guys so if you've been here for a while you may recall me making this video and this video which were the first two hair toppers that I ever tried the lost hair being the first one and then the uni wigs with the bangs being the second one that I've ever tried if you'd like to see either of those videos I will leave them linked down below but today I will be showing you my newest topper that I just received from uni wigs they were kind enough to send it over to me so that I could try it out I really did like the last one that they sent me it just had bangs and I wanted one that was more like you know every day and also this is a kind that I've never actually seen before I've never seen anyone install it or anything so it's gonna be a little new for me but hopefully we'll figure it out together and if you're new here and you do not know what a hair topper is the best way I can think to describe it is like only the top portion of a wig or a to pay for women, if you will. I don't like calling them that because it is off-putting to people who don't use them. I'm okay with it, like I would call it a to pay, I don't care. That's just the only way I can think to describe it. This is the Claire Hair Topper from Uniwigs. I will have all of the technical information for this one down below and like the link to it and price and everything, but it is real human hair. It feels really, really soft, just like everything from Uniwigs if you've ever bought anything from there. Quality is 10 out of 10. It's really soft Remy hair. The good thing about this one is that they actually suggested a darker shade for me as opposed to the last time I picked like dark brown or something and it was quite light on me. Um, I think this is more of like a black almost. Again, I'll leave all the information down below. I don't quite remember it right now, but it'll be down there. The good thing about this one is that I did not have to dye it. It came this color. It is pretty spot on with my natural hair color. But the major difference with this one as opposed to the Luster hair topper that I had is that it had a silk cap and I think actually the previous Uniwigs one I had was a silk cap too. This one is a lace front uh, topper. So I don't know if you can see, but it's like completely lace and then the underside looks like this. So we've got four of the like extension clip sort of ones. The thing that's confusing me with this one is that it is really great that it's lace because it's just going to look so seamless on your head. The second part that I'm not so sure about or rather I haven't tried to do it yet so who knows how it's going to go. I'm just a bit confused at how I'm going to glue this down. I don't usually like putting toppers like further down my forehead just because my hairline already comes down kind of far and then when you have hair that's this thick like this close to your eyebrows that's just like a lot it doesn't look very natural so I have to figure out a way to glue this bad boy kind of like back here and make it not look strange so fingers crossed I'm going to do that on camera right now so that you guys can see what this looks like I have like just put it on my head and I've also already cut the lace it did have extra and I just cut it shorter a little bit and like it looks really great when I just it on my head it's just the whole gluing the front down situation that I'm a little unsure about so I guess I'm just going to go for it <laughs> so I know this is kind of like a learning experience for me too but I'm going to just let you guys know what I'm doing every step of the way so for a lace front topper or wig you're going to need to glue down the front so if you've never worked with anything lace front whether it be a topper or a wig before you're going to need to glue it down they don't just like sit tight on your head it's going to like flap around in the wind everywhere so to adhere the lace to your skin people tend to use this product a lot it is the got to be ultra glued invincible styling gel they also have one that's in a yellow can and it, you like spray it on i've never used that one it seems like it's a whole lot easier than this but i'm just going to use this because i'm used to it by now also today is a different case but i don't recommend putting this on top of your makeup like foundation and stuff and i've made many mistakes before where i've tried to use this on top of foundation and not only does it turn all orange and weird, it just won't stick as well. Also to be a little more precise with it, um, you can use Q-tips, that's what I usually like to use, but I don't have any right now, so I'm just going to be using the end of a pair of tweezers just to like sort of precision move this stuff around. And then the final thing with this or the spray kind is that it works the same as eyelash glue in the way that you kind of need to make sure that it's on the tackier side for anything to stick. If you put lace on it too soon, it's one going to take a very long time to dry after that and two would be almost impossible because you're gonna have to hold it there like for a really long time if that ever sticks. That's just in my experience so it's always helpful to have a hair dryer and you just blow dry it for 30 seconds, 15 seconds, however thick the amount you've put on. But you'll usually be able to figure it out. Just blow dry it and then touch it every now and then and see if like your skin is sticking. 
I hope all that made sense. I don't want to go too in depth with all of that because that's just not what this video is about, but I just wanted to help anybody out who may be doing this along with me. But the first thing that I'm going to do, because as I said, I feel like I'm going to have an issue with all of my baby hairs here, is I'm going to try and like make a perfectly straight line in front where I know I'm going to put the lace. So I'm going to pull this back. I'm just going to sort of push it back and I mean, as long as I can see where the line is, it's really all that matters. Okay, so now I'm going to get some of my glue and I'm just gonna put it on the end of the tweezers. I didn't wanna put it on too big a section of hair because it's gonna make this whole part super hard and crunchy. I think that's a decent amount. And now while I'm, actually I probably don't even need to hold it anymore, but I'm just gonna grab the hairdryer and blow dry it really quick. Now that I have my little sticky bit right there, I'm going to move all of my hair where it should be. And I know this looks dumb, but I'm gonna have hair on top of it, so I don't really care. Okay, before I put on my head, I'm going to unclip everybody. And now I'm just going to hold it down. I haven't even clipped any of the other ones in. Actually, maybe I should do that now. So that's this one. So now I'm just going to sit here and hold it for a while. I don't like keeping my flat finger on it for too long because I feel like it doesn't dry down properly. The heat from my finger is making the glue wet. I'm just going to hold the bits of hair. Don't worry, this is none of my actual hair. And I'm just going to hold it down like this. I'm sure instead of holding this, you could probably put like a clip there or like tie it up or something to make it really tight. But I don't think the glue is going to take that long to dry. So I'm not that concerned. Okay, so sorry if that just did a weird jump or if I'm talking really loud because I just realized this is covering one of my entire ears. But I was having a little issue having it stick. I don't even know what's happening, whether the glue is like drying too quickly or I put more glue and now I don't know if it's drying at all. I use the hairdryer and everything and it's just not working the same as if it would like on my forehead where I usually do it. So I'm hoping that if I leave this thing around the glue part of it and then maybe I'll just put the hairdryer on top of it, it will dry. So I'm going to do that for God knows how long and then I will be back and let you know if it worked. Okay. So it's been about 10 minutes of me like moving this thing around and I had the hair dryer on it for a pretty long time I'm pretty hot at this point, but it's feeling pretty dry Like I actually can feel like when I move it around it feels sort of like crunchy Which I know sounds bad, but usually that's a good sign when you're using this glue stuff So I'm going to take it off and hopefully it doesn't look like crap Hmm. Well first of all, I guess let me just see if it's gonna move Yeah, so it's, it's pretty stuck onto my scalp. I guess the only part that's sort of bumming me out is I guess because it was under that thing or I've been moving it a lot that it like moved back a tad further than I would like. So it goes from being like super duper thin to really, 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 really thick. But I mean, I'm happy that at least this thought process worked out. Like, I feel like this is definitely something that once I've done it two or three times and like it's closer up here, it will definitely look a lot better. I actually think that it doesn't look that bad now. It's just the, actually, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it very obvious or is it just that I mentioned it that it's obvious or is it like, oh my God, no, it has to be way further down. I know that this is quite thick. So there is the option of putting concealer there to make it look like I have more scalp, but I kind of don't want to put concealer in there because I feel like there's no way that that really, really looks as natural as I want it to. So I'm thinking in the future, I'm going to like hand pluck this area to be like a lot thinner. And then obviously I'm going to be wearing it a lot more forward too. I know that I have thin hair and this is the solution to that, but I don't want thick hair. Like I know that sounds bad, but I don't want thick hair. I just want like regular hair. So me making this hairline like a little more realistic to the way that my hair actually is, I feel like would make me feel a lot better. I'm really pleased with this topper. I think that it has so much potential and I mean, I really don't mind how it looks now. It just needs a little bit more tweaking. Now that I've figured out that gluing the front is how to do it, um, I think that it's gonna be smooth sailing from here. And another thing that I like about this one as opposed to the ones that have the silk caps is that I feel like I can do more hairstyles in the back because with the other ones, I feel like if you pull your hair any sort of way, except for like a regular ponytail or like a low ponytail, you can see like the bottom of the silk cap. But like, I'll turn around with this one so that you can see what I mean. Mean, like it just is a lot more natural looking because there's no like weird cat there it's all like lace 
Just out of curiosity, I wanna like put my hair up somewhere right now and see what that looks like, so hold on. So this is it just in a low ponytail and I really like how it looks actually. Now that I'm more used to this whole front situation, I feel like it doesn't look that bad. I know that I could really, really sit down and nitpick at it for like half an hour if I wanted to. If I had to rate all three of my toppers based on easiness of use if you're a beginner, I would say that any topper that you get that has bangs is going to be your best bet. And I mean straight bangs just because you have none of this situation to blend or hide. It just kind of covers it up and it's just really simple. You can throw those on in like two minutes and be out the door. The second easiest I would say is the luster hair topper that I had, which was the first video. That was easier just because it had a little comb thing at the front. So there was very minimal having to blend anything. It was just putting it sort of in the right place. But with doing that, I have to curl my hair. If I do it straight, it I just can't get it to blend the same way. Um, I think that'll work differently varying on how thin your hair actually is. Mine is very, very thin at the front. So it just takes a little bit more effort with that one. That is still easier than having to work with glue. Glue is a whole other step. You have to bring like hair dryers involved. Like basically if you're running late for something, don't be trying to glue anything onto your head because it's exactly the same like putting eyelashes on. It's like 50-50 whether it's gonna work in your favor that day. So for that reason, I'm rating this particular top of a little bit more difficult to work with. That being said, that's just on the scale. I don't think that any of them are particularly hard to deal with. It's just time experience and really, really wanting to make it work. But that's it from me today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave the link to this topper and every single one that I've made a video about down below if you are interested. Again, thank you so much to Uniwigs for sending this to me and allowing me to spread the good word about toppers because they really are a blessing from above that do not get talked about enough. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I have a ton of new videos coming, a lot of fun, so please hit the bell and make sure that you get notified for when I do post. I hope everyone is staying safe, staying home. I have every single one of you in my prayers right now. It is such a weird time that we're going through, but we will get through it. I know we will. I love you guys and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye.